Welcome to our Creole Learning Series, and I'm Trisha from Product Labs. Today we'll be talking about session number 12, Pattern and Mirror. Let us take some time to define pattern. Pattern is an array of features about an axis along a line or linear dimension, or some other reference. Pattern makes modeling very easy and efficient. Just by a few clicks, we can create a bunch of features in the design. In Creo Pyramidic, pattern tool is used as either a single tool or a combination of different tools. So let's get started with session 12 on pattern and mirror next in this series. To understand about pattern, we have loaded a part with a whole feature in it. After creating pattern, object looks like this. In this, we have created linear pattern in two directions. Now, we'll switch back to our original model to create patterns. Now, click on the button labeled as pattern in the top menu bar. In the drop down menu, there are three pattern options to choose from. First, we'll go with Pattern option. We have options to perform pattern in two directions at the same time. In the drop-down menu, there are multiple options which would be used as reference to define pattern. First, we'll go with Dimensions as reference parameter. Now, we'll select the dimension to be used as reference for pattern. Once we select the dimension, we can see the patent feature location in the model. You can change the number of patent features from here. Now, we can add second direction for pattern. To do this, we'll select this dimension as a reference for second direction. Again, we have to change the number of pattern features from here. Now press OK to complete this. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. In this example, we considered dimensions as a pattern reference. In the next example, we'll have directions as a reference for pattern. Now let us open a new model. It has a green extruded feature on it, which will be patterned. So, let us select the feature and click on Pattern option in the top menu bar. Now, in this drop-down menu, choose Direction as an option for Pattern Reference. Now, select this surface to define a reference direction. Please note that, pattern direction will be perpendicular to the selected surface. Now, we need to define the pattern spacing or pitch. Define the number of instances from here. For the second direction, click here in this box and select the surface. Now, define the spacing for pattern. Enter the number of instances here in this box. Now, click on OK button to finish. Now, you can see the created pattern. Click Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now, we'll do the pattern with axis as a reference. So, let us open a new model. This model has a cylindrical feature at the center and a tiny protrusion outside the cylinder which would be patterned. After pattern, model would look like this. Now, let us switch back to original model and start create pattern. Now, select the feature to be patterned. In this case, it's extrude 4. Now, Click on the Pattern button on the top and select Axis in the drop-down menu. Choose the highlighted axis. 
define the number of instances and pitch or spacing for pattern in the fields provided on the top. Now, click on OK button to finish. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now, we'll pattern extrude 5 using axis as in reference. Therefore, we'll select extrude 5 from model tree. Now, click on pattern button in the top menu bar. Use the option Axis from drop-down menu. By default, we can see there are 4 instances equally spaced at 90 degree. We can change these values as we want. We are going to have 12 instances equally spaced at 30 degree. You can see that round feature is yet to be patterned. So, select round 3 from model tree and click on pattern option once again in the top menu bar. Since it's a feature of pattern feature, it has taken same axis as reference. Now click OK to finish. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. This completes the pattern with X as a reference. Next is fill pattern. For this, we will open a new model as shown here. This model has a simple hole as shown here. After pattern with fill as a reference, model would look like this. Now switch back to original model. Now select this whole feature and then click on the pattern button at top. Select Reference option as fill from drop down menu. Now click on the tab labeled as reference. A pop up window appears. Select top surface as sketching plane and keep the orientation as default. Click on the sketch view button to make sketching plane parallel to viewing plane. Now, we have to draw a sketch profile which has to be filled by pattern. Here, we'll draw an ellipse. Once sketching of ellipse is done, click on OK button. Now, we can see patterned instances. Properties of this pattern can be changed at the top where we can provide inputs for pitch and other parameters. Now click on OK button to finish. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. This completes the pattern with fill reference. In the next type of pattern, we'll consider table as a reference. Now open a new model. It has a protruded feature at one corner. Now, select this feature and click on pattern button in the top menu bar. And select the option table as reference from drop down menu. Now, click on the edit button at the top. A pop up window appears. In this window, we can tabulate the pattern parameters. In the first column, we have to tabulate the serial numbers. In the second column, we have to tabulate the spacing for pattern instances.
In the third column, we have to tabulate the variation in distance along other dimension. You can leave it blank if all the pattern features are required to be in the same line. Now, save the table. We can see the pattern locations now. Click on OK button to finish. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now, we'll learn to create the pattern using points as reference. Let us open a new model to do this. In this model, we have a protruded tiny feature on the top surface. After creating point-based reference pattern, model would look like this. Pattern features follow the location of points. Now, switch back to original model. Select the feature to be patterned and click on pattern option in the top menu bar. Now, select the option point as a pattern reference from drop-down menu. Now, click on Reference tab and then click on Define. We will create few random points on the top surface of the model. You can position the points as you need by dimensioning them. Click on OK button once done. Here we can see the preview of patterned features. Now click on OK button to finish this. Now feature round 3 can also be patterned in the same manner. Select the feature in the model tree and right click and then select pattern option from the menu. Position of this feature would be followed by the position of its parent feature which was patterned earlier. Now click on OK button to finish. Press Ctrl plus D, fit the model. Pattern with reference to points is done. Now we'll learn to pattern by having a curve as a reference. So let us open a new model to perform curve based pattern. This model has a protruded feature at a corner which would be patterned along a curve. After curve based pattern, model would look like this. Now let us switch back to original model. Select extrude 2 as a feature to be patterned and then click on pattern button on the top. Select the option curve as a reference from drop down menu. Now, we need to draw a curve along which pattern is to be done. Click on the reference tab and then draw a curve as shown here. Once curve is done, you can see preview of pattern instances along the curve. We can change the spacing of pattern at the top. Now, Click on OK button to finish this. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model. Now we'll learn about geometry pattern. For this, we'll open a new model. After geometry pattern, model will look like this. Now let us switch back to original model. So let's select the feature to be patterned which is extrude 4 and then click on geometry pattern in the top menu bar. Now select axis as a reference in the drop down menu. Change the number of instances and angle as needed. Now click on OK button to finish. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. 
difference between geometry pattern and ordinary pattern feature is that in geometry pattern we cannot edit child of pattern feature it becomes a permanent entity so this is the end of pattern feature in creo As the second part of this session, we'll be learning about mirror feature. Using mirror command, we can easily replicate any existing geometry about a plane or any other reference, thus eliminating the efforts of recreating it. So let's begin. To do that, we'll load the model shown here. We'll use the round feature in the left side to create mirror. So select the feature and click on the button in the top menu bar labeled as mirror. Next, we need to define the reference for mirror, the surface or plane about which feature will get mirrored. Here, we'll select right plane as reference plane for mirror. Now, click on OK button to finish. Now, you can see that round feature is present on the both side and same is reflecting in the model tree as well. Similarly, we can mirror these two holes as well. Click on mirror button on the top and select the right plane as reference. Now, click on OK button. Now you can notice that right side two holes have been mirrored to left side. Now create the chamfer on this edge to make it similar to left side one. Press Ctrl plus D to fit it into screen and save. With this, we have completed the session on pattern and mirror. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.